At this point in time, the almost exclusively pets tend to get COVID-19 from their owners. By this time, we've all heard that one of the safest ways to stop the spread of COVID-19 is to get vaccinated. But what about our pets? And bigger still, what about our zoo animals? The Wilder Institute and the Calgary Zoo have begun vaccinating a total of 66 animals against COVID-19, including their two Amur tigers. An infectious disease veterinarian says that's a good move. The main ones we're paying attention to are the non-human primates, so gorillas, apes, the ones that are very close related to us because we know we can get severe disease, obviously, and, and we think they can get similarly severe disease. The other group is the big cats, lions, tigers, cheetahs. According to Edmonton Valley Zoo Communications, they have yet to receive a shipment of the same Zoetis COVID-19 vaccine used by the Wilder Institute and the Calgary Zoo. So in the meantime, Edmonton Valley Zoo Communications say that all zoo staff must wear masks near and in contact with the animals and all patrons of the zoo must not touch the animals no matter how cute they are. So what about the furry friends that live in our homes? Is vaccination from COVID-19 necessary? For some pets and, and dogs being a good example, it's probably not super relevant um, and, and probably unnecessary, but maybe for cats or ferrets or different species like that, it may be beneficial. So um, I think that's a decision to be made with every individual pet and every, every individual veterinarian. Dr. Mandrusiak says there is no readily available COVID-19 vaccine for pets yet, but the risk of pets getting sick from COVID-19 is lower than their human owners. Dr. Mandrusiak also wanted to point out that if your pet has gotten its coronavirus shot, it's not the same as the COVID-19 vaccine. For example, canine coronavirus is a gastrointestinal disease that affects dogs. So as always, refer to your veterinarian for your pet's medical advice. In Edmonton, at the entrance of the Edmonton Valley Zoo, Sarah Chu, City News.